I'm Sheila Marie de la Cruz from BSN1B. Today, I'm going to demonstrate the procedure of obtaining a capillary blood sample for glucose testing. For this demonstration, these are the materials that I'm going to use. First one is the blood glucose meter or glucometer with its compatible reagent strip, lancet injector with sterile lancet. Um, this would be a antiseptic swab alcohol, clean gloves, and gloves. Um, before the procedure, make sure to put on PPE if indicated, then perform hand washing. Also, um, do not forget to provide privacy to the patient. Next, introduce yourself to the patient, identify the patient by the two identifiers, and explain what you are going to do. Next, put on clean gloves. After putting on my gloves, I will now prepare the lancet using a separate Remove technique. the cap of the lancet device and insert a new lancet. Then twist the protective disc off the tip of the lancet, exposing the needle. Make sure not to press the button. Then carefully replace the cap of the lancet device. Then adjust the puncture depth of the lancet device. Next is the blood glucose meter or the glucometer. First, remove the test strip from the vial, then recap container immediately. Test strips also come individually wrapped. Check if the strip matches the meter device. Next, insert the strip into the meter according to the directions for that specific device. Have the patient wash hands with soap and warm water and dry thoroughly. Or you can assist the patient to perform hand hygiene with alcohol. Then, cleanse the skin with an alcohol swab. Allow the skin to dry completely. For adult, massage the side of the finger toward the puncture site. Then, hold the lancet perpendicular to the skin and pierce site with lancet. For some facility policy, you have to wipe away the first drop of blood with gauze or cotton ball if recommended by the manufacturer of the monitor or device. Encourage bleeding by lowering the hand making use of gravity. Lightly stroke the finger if necessary until sufficient amount of blood has formed to cover the sample area on the strip. Then gently touch a drop of blood to pad to the test strip without smearing it. Then apply pressure to puncture site with a cotton ball or dry gauze. Then read the blood glucose results and document appropriately at bedside. Inform patient of the result. Remove the test strip to the glucometer to automatically turn it off. Then dispose supplies appropriately. Place lancet in sharps container. Remove gloves and other PPE if used then perform hand hygiene.